Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I'm excited to say that it looks like DICE has listened to the community's feedback with regard to the new Noshar canals and made some necessary changes. Uh, a week ago when we got our first look at this map, a lot of people were excited that it was being reintroduced into Battlefield, but once you played on it for a couple of hours, you realize that it wasn't an exact replica of the map that we fall all fell in love with. Not only was it much larger, it was just on a bigger scale, but also a lot of the objects were in different locations, especially in the center of the map. I will be completely honest, there was a time where I got lost in there because it was slightly different. Yes, I was able to eventually find the exit, but because there were those minute differences, there was different flanking routes, there was different crates in different spots, uh, it was hard to tell where I was and where the enemy was going to be heading from. And so I'm happy to say that they've li listened to the feedback, especially with regard to the center of the map, and now it feels pretty much identical to what it was back in Battlefield 3. It's hard to say if it's flawless, it's hard to say if it is a one-to-one -one ratio where everything is exactly where it should be, uh, but at least for the numerous hours that I've played so far, I'm really happy with what they've delivered on. Uh, the one thing that I'm not so happy about, though, is how much larger this map is overall. I really can't understand why they decided to do this. The only thing that I could think of, which we talked about last time, is due to weapon balance, and mainly shotguns. Shotguns are awesome right now in Battle of Four, and so maybe they wanted to reduce their effectiveness, but even still, if you're gonna have the center of the map, basically a one-to-one -one replica of what it was back in Battlefield 3, then why not be consistent throughout the entire map and make everything exactly like what it was before? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, moving on over into the Conquest Large version of the map, what Dragon Valley is all about, uh, we finally got a chance to play on this once again, and it's looking amazing. I really gotta hand it to DICE, this map has to be one of the most gorgeous maps that we have gotten. I think the only one that's gonna rival it is the new community map. There is just an insane amount of detail. Uh, one improvement that they've made since the last time is that they've changed where uh, the E capture point was located. Uh, back a couple of months ago when we got our first look at this map, this was one large drawback of Dragon Valley because if you were on the one side of the map where you could overlook it, it gave that team a huge advantage. Uh, basically, if you were in a tank or you were in any vehicle, you could sit on the opposite side of the map on the hillside and just rain death upon any one that was trying to capture that objective. And so one way that they've worked around this is that they've now pushed that capture point on to the hillside where it's pretty much inaccessible to any vehicle. Uh, you can still defend or assist your teammates in holding that objective with a tank. If you move around the fringe of the map, any enemy that tries to flank your teammates is going to get taken out easily by you, but you're not really going to be able to get up there with the tank itself and do a lot of damage. And so in my opinion, uh, this was a definitely a necessary change. Uh, another thing that I've really like about this newer version is that they've added in some cloud cover. I think that this was for a couple of reasons. Not only does it just look awesome, but it also uh, reduces the effectiveness of vehicles at taking you out from extreme distances. Uh, there were times when I was flying around in a helicopter, and it was a little bit difficult to figure out who was on the ground on the objective that was like 500 meters away. This map is gigantic, and so because of this added cloud cover and this mist or fog that's everywhere, it not only allows helicopters to move around the map a little bit more freely and not just get locked on or seen from five miles away, uh, but also it's going to help the infantry and vehicles that are down on the ground to not get seen from the helicopters or jets. It, it kind of goes both ways, and in my opinion, that's a good way of handling things. Uh, not only that, but this may just be another way that DICE is trying to lessen the amount of information that your computer or your console is having to render out. Like I said, this map is gigantic. I don't know if it's the largest one in Battle of Four, but it is, it is way up there. And not only that, it has an insane amount of detail like it looks amazing and you put two of those together it might be hard for uh, lower end computers or just for the consoles to be able to render this at a high fidelity and also maintain that higher frame rates and so with this cloud cover I mean this has been something that uh, game developers have been doing forever now is that if there is clouds or if there is a fog it limits how far you can view out in the distance so your computer doesn't have to render as much and so that might be another reason why it's been added to the game 
Uh, one criticism that I do have to make though, and it's the only critique that I have on this map, is where the objectives are located. When you look at the mini map, you'll notice that five of the capture points are all centered around one part of the map, and then there's three that are completely disjointed from all of the others. You will spend about 90% of your gameplay on those five objectives. That is where a majority of the action takes place on Dragon Valley, and the other three just feel like an afterthought. Uh, maybe this was just because I didn't spend enough time on this map, but I've played for about six hours since it was released on the CTE, and what I noticed was that no one went for those objectives objectives for the majority of the round. Uh, maybe a helicopter would fly on over and one guy would jump out and eventually take the objective, but if your team hold it, it was basically a safe bet that you were going to hold that for a majority of the round because no one wanted to take the time to run out there and capture it, especially when the other five objectives were relatively close to each other. And so I'm not sure how DICE could fix this. Maybe some people think that I have no idea what I'm talking about and it's just fine as it is. Uh, but from the six hours that I played on this map, uh, that was one thing that I noticed that it just felt like a completely disjointed uh, part of the gameplay. Uh, but overall, I am really liking what DICE has done to Dragon Valley. Not only to the TDM version, I'm liking the steps that they're taking so far by making it more true to form for what it was back in Battlefield 3, but also with the classic Dragon Valley from Battlefield 2. Uh, uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts on what I discussed today. Do you agree with the points that I presented in today's video? Do you completely disagree? Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.